So if you have an object going in circular motion like that, let's talk about a couple of things. Let's talk about, first of all, what its velocity is and how you would calculate that. Well, the velocity is the uh, distance that it goes divided by the time that it takes to go that distance, right? So let's take one revolution. Imagine one revolution. You start here and you go like that. How far did you go? You went tau r, right? <laughs> tau r, or 2 pi r, if you want to be stupid. Um, you go 2 pi r. That's how far you go, the circumference of a circle, in one revolution, right? How long did it take you? How long does it take you? Uh, more specifically, what time? Yeah, the period. Tau, the period, that's how long. So that is how we can calculate the velocity of an object in circular motion. And um, so, for example, if this thing, let's just do a quick example here. Let's say that this has a radius of 5 meters and that it ha makes uh, 80 revolutions in uh, 30 seconds. Do a quick calculation there and see what the velocity is has a radius of 5 meters and it goes th 80 revolutions in 30 seconds. Well, that becomes pretty easy. You go 2 times pi times r, which is 5, so that's 10 pi, over the period. Now, what's the period here, kids? What? Period. 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 Period is what? How do you get that? Let's look at the unit. 80 divided by 30. So if you do 80 divided by 30, that's revolutions per second. Is that a is that a period unit? Revolutions per second or cycles per second? Is that period? Or is that frequency? We just found the frequency. We don't want that. We're going to have to go 30 divided by 30 seconds divided by 80 revolutions, that will be time per revolution. That's what we want, right? Seconds per revolution, 0.375. And so someone with a calculator, what's uh, 10 pi divided by 0.375? 83.78, so about 84 meters per second. <coughs> so that is our